farming usually conjures images of people working the soil, but sustainable farming encompasses far more. Two brothers are growing food in the only 3D farm in Massachusetts, and the water is their soil. In our series Eye on Earth, meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff travels to Martha's Vineyard to see how it works. As we welcome warmer days, farmers begin preparing their land. And for this duo, the ocean is their field, and oysters and sugar kelp their crop. Not far from the docks in Vineyard Haven, the Martino brothers run Cottage City Oyster, the only business in Massachusetts doing 3D farming. Traditionally, you have a farm that's on a 2D axis. It's flat. So our 3D farm has oyster cages and clam cages that sit on the bottom. And then above them, suspended in the water column, we have seaweed that grows in the top part of the water column. There's over a million oysters right here. Where most oysters are grown in tidal pools and bays, the ocean depths essentially provide more surface area, allowing them to maximize productivity and ultimately reduce our carbon footprint at a time when CO2 levels are hitting record highs. Traditional land farming accounts for about 25% of all greenhouse gases, oceans absorbing a large amount of that. The seaweed kelp forests actually sequester more carbon than the rainforest and actually produce more oxygen than the rainforest. 70% of the oxygen in the air comes from the ocean. The shellfish are sequestering that carbon in their shells. Oysters have 12 grams of carbon in every shell. Their sugar kelp raises the pH level in the water, protecting the oysters from acidic water. Plus, it's edible. Seaweed kind of has this not so sexy or appealing name to it. Give it a taste. It's like nature's multivitamin. You eat it, it boosts your immune system, it makes you healthier. Good for us and good for animals. Recent studies have shown that replacing just 1% of a cow's diet with seaweed could reduce its methane emissions by up to 85%. That's a huge reduction in a dangerous greenhouse gas. As long as we can be a model for our state and maybe inspire some people along the way, Hopefully it creates a wave that eventually this is a normal and we're helping the environment. A tidal wave of change from the ocean to our dinner plate. The more we eat seaweed and oysters, the better for the planet and the environment that it is. So it's just making a smarter choice. And the brothers tell me that they hope this 3D model is brought to cities like Gloucester that have been hard hit with dwindling fishing fleets. So not only can you raise food and help the environment, you're also putting people back to work.